Hey everybody, Neverball84 here. I like Neverball, that's what I'm playing on a regular Dreamcast with the GD ROM spinning. Speaking of GD ROMs, I got one right here. Uh, I took it out of one of my systems. So, you got that going. And uh, yeah, you might want to hold on to this because you might need it later. Apparently these things are faulty, but I never had one really mess up on me. I might have like one or two Dreamcasts that don't play burnt games, but they still essentially work. But apparently, GD-ROMs don't work, but I got a bunch of them that do, so I don't know. Um, but what's this video about? Um, I went online and got a GDEMU. I'll show you pictures while I talk about it. This thing is really cool. I uh, just came across information about it that you can play SD card games, uh, just, you know, ISOs and stuff, and uh, have your Dreamcast be solid state and uh, future-proof the bad boy like that. And um, this thing's cool. It's got like 14 games preloaded on it. Um, I have not figured out how to format an SD card. Well, actually, I did figure out how to format it, but I don't know how to put games on an SD card because I, I must have an SD card that's not compatible. But I figure I'll just go ahead and get the same SD card that I got sent with this thing and, um, and then format it and then try to put the ISOs that I have on there. Um, I have a full NTSC games list, so it's like I'm not worried about, uh, you know, the government getting me, government cheese. Um, but uh, I got the system right here, and um, I guess I'll just talk about it before I show you a picture. But, um, yeah, I, I really like this case. This is, like, kind of a clear case, but not completely clear like my other one. Um, and, yeah, the GD EMU is in there, and you can tell it's got a little SanDisk um, SD card in there and it's just a little chipset and it goes in there it makes the thing considerably lighter i've noticed when i took the gd rom out it's just uh, it adds a lot of weight to the system but you know it's alleviating a lot of weight and of course um you know researching this um, there's also a thing called dream psu which is um uh like a lighter um uh, what is it like a power converter thing so you can replace that too, so it's like essentially just a motherboard with some chips attached to it and a control port added, added to it. But um, yeah, did I show the pictures of that yet or have it started? Because um, yeah, it's really cool, man. I just took pictures. Uh, it's really bright outside right now, and uh, there were some people with leaf blowers, so I couldn't record out there. But um, I'm trying to come out with uh, content and bring it out to you guys. And uh, my laptop is really slow with viruses right now because I tried to do the YouTube, uh, convert YouTube to MP3 sites. And I think I picked up something and I, I don't have uh, antivirus. And I think that you need to invest in antivirus, unfortunately. And I tried to, I used to do AVG free, but I, I don't know, I can't do AVG no mo. But um, yeah, I was going to get some um, quick comparison of how this thing runs with the um, regular game disc spinning. So let me just uh, select some Neverball and play it or whatever. So, yeah, I don't want this video to be anything super special. Um, I just want to bring awareness to the GD EMU. It's just cool. Um, yeah, you don't hear a disc spinning and it doesn't make the squealing pig noise. I always said it sounded like a pig squealing. Um, and there's 14 games on this, so I guess I'll uh, you know show you up close what that is. But it's just... Common games that you you would think of, it, it, I say fourteen. There's just a there's twenty files, but there's, some of them are like you know, Skies of Arcadia, Disc One, Disc Two. There's Resident Evil Code Veronica One and Two, 
Shinmu, there's four files for that, because that's a big game, but, um, yeah, um, I was playing some Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and I guess I'll show some footage of that, but, um, yeah, that's, I mean, I'll talk more about it once I shoot footage, so let's do that. Yeah, I'm not trying to make this video anything too terribly special, but, um, this is the menu. Um, I might not be in the frame, but I'm never in the frame, like, perfect, but... Yeah, you got Soul Calibur, Crazy Taxi, Jet Grind Radio. You got a little artwork for some of these. I guess you don't for others. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Virtua Tennis, good old Shinmu, Skies of Arcadia, Sonic Adventure Limited Edition, which is very interesting. I wonder if that's, that plays the same as the regular edition. Um, Sonic Adventure 2, Daytona USA. Fantasy Star Online. I'm not sure if you get Fantasy Star Online version 2, but it says version 2 right there on the upper right-hand corner. Resident Evil Co. Veronica, which I'm sure Gollum Cone is glad to have on here. Power Stone. Uh, I don't know if Power Stone 2 is on there, if it's a Power Stone collection, because there is a an ISO that's very common that has Power Stone 1 and 2 out there. Tony House Pro Skater 2, which is very interesting because... I was just playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 just because I'm nostalgic for it, and I think that with the PlayStation Classic coming out, um, I, the omission of having uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 on that is kind of a slap in the face to Sony fans. I think that S Sony fans deserve Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, Twisted Metal 2, Parappa the Rapper, and uh, there's, I guess, a handful of other games that needs to be on that system. There was no, like, menu music or anything. Um, apparently load times are supposed to be better. I guess there's com comparison videos that you can find online. I, I just want to just kind of show off the GD EMU and not really go too much in depth. I, I don't know how to format SD cards. I don't know how to... Um, I, I know how to find it ISOs and burn the image onto a disk but when it comes to finding the correct ISO for the SD cards, I don't know if you can use the same. Um, on the back of the GDEMU case that I got here, which I really like the case. It looks like a, an old rental store box that you would find like an N64 cartridge or something in there. But yeah, on the back it says it supports... Um, <clears throat> it supports... Uh, GDI, CDI, CCD, IMG, SUB, MDS, MDF, and ISO. I have ISOs, <clears throat> so I'm guessing, uh, but it says for data carriers for homebrew. I don't know. I don't know, man. But I've been playing uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, and I'm kind of stuck because, you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, I'm trying to get, like, six score for the New York level or something. And, um, I don't know. I guess I'll play a little bit of that. I heard back from good old Otis Fodder, man. He emailed back, and I, I didn't email back. Uh, I, I might shoot him just a short email just saying, hey, man, I appreciate you, you know, reaching out and, like, and watching the video, bro, you know. I just wanted to honor him and um, promote what he's doing. And um, I think that that video only has, like, 12 views right now. But um, if you have not seen that do yourself a favor and check that out because um, the brand flakes are great. I recommend just uh, getting your hands on one of the albums and just uh, you know listen to it a couple times, give it a good shot. You know, I love it. Um, I think there might be yeah. There's this little area down here. I want to try to get six score. Um, where's the ramp at? Yeah, the, the ramps are few and far between, and normally there's like these little um, areas where you can just. Uh, do your, do your thing, but uh, there's nothing but like railings. Yeah, it's like I'm just gonna try to backtrack on this ramp. Just try to do it all on one ramp. That's yeah, easy to fall on this level. Anyway, I guess I won't go for that. But uh, yeah, um, you're supposed to ollie the hydrants, and I'm not really sure where all of the hydrants are. They're they're harder to find than those uh, tokens for that one level. But um, this is Tony House Pro Skater 2, and uh, let me just pause and go back to the menu just to show you how quick that goes. Uh, level select. It says loading. Yeah, that, I mean, that was pretty quick. That was pretty quick. Marcel France. You still have to, you know, wait a little bit, but 
I guess it's not. See, look, that, that didn't take too long. So, um, yeah, I heard back from Otis Fodder, and I was really glad about that. And um, what else? Oh, yeah, he still has those fridge magnets that I gave him. Um, he got rid of the Fred Krueger one, but I, that's cool. That's cool. It's those um, fruit ones that I like the most, and uh, he still got those, so that's cool. Good to know, you know. Um, and uh, this is the GDEMU, and it's, it's nice to know that there's, like, 14 games that you can get preloaded on the thing, and they're just, like, well-known bangers anyway, you know? Just games that you consider contemporary classics. Now, I think they should have had, like, Pin Pin Tri Echelon and MVK2 and stuff. You can add ISOs, but I, I, got, I just got to figure that out. It's a, these things aren't easy for me, but... Yeah, this is the GDEMU, and I just thought it was really cool. I got it in a nice little clear case, and, you know, good times, man. Whenever I run low on time, I always do the little manual. Yeah. So I appreciate you guys watching. GDEMU, man, check it out.